Engaging young people in science and engineering is always better when it takes a hands-on approach. And this is what engineers at Southampton-based tech firm Leonardo were looking to do when they held their first robotic games. So I went along to see what mechanical marvels they came up with. Technology firm Leonardo are usually to be found making both civil and military grade electronics, such as thermal imaging cameras and helicopter parts. But inspired by a popular TV show, they held their first robotic games to encourage local schools to partake in a science and engineering contest. Today we have our first ever robotic games. We've got three local schools from the Southampton area who have been working for many months with our engineers to uh, build and enhanced robots, uh, similar to Robot Wars, as we're all aware of. And they've all come here today to uh, show off what they've done. And uh, slightly competitive as well, that they can uh, race each other and really just get a sense of what engineering is all about. Uh, we want to throw our doors open and let children come in uh, from an early age and really see what engineering is all about. As, as we all know, there is a, a shortage of engineers out there and activities such as STEM encourage the, the children to get into uh, engineering, which is uh, what we desperately need. Each school was helped by an apprentice engineer to take their robots from a box of bits to a winning machine. We, we supplied kits uh, to them, but very basic kits, and their job uh, is to assemble those kits and then enhance them in whichever way their imagination takes them. Um, we do allow our engineers from time to time to go to the schools and uh, assist. I've been going into the schools to help them build the robots. Um, we've been showing them how to solder and helping them do the woodwork and stuff like that. And then today, this morning, I've been helping out, showing the children what the, how the robots work. So I've been showing them the controls and uh, been doing a little bit of uh, technical uh, a few fixes because uh, these these robots aren't faultless. Um, they've been built by uh, humans and built built by built by the school children. So there are a few teething issues that we've been trying to iron out this morning. The day of competition is just one example of how the company is looking to inspire young minds into the world of engineering. We recently um, attended the Big Bang event locally, where um, school children could come along and see the technology that we do. We had our thermal imaging cameras on show. Uh, they could have thermal imaging selfies taken, which a lot of them did. Um, and there's various other STEM activities we uh, do in the area with the local schools. If these children just leave here today with a level of excitement about engineering, which then encourages them to go further at school and university, then we've achieved what we wanted to do today. And so, what was everyone's favourite part of the day? Dinner time. <laughs> no, I'm really excited about the sumo wrestling. I helped build the arena as well. Yeah, it's we're really, fun. really fun. What, are you, what have you enjoyed most about the day so far? Um, the obstacle course. Yeah, that the was obstacle. really cool. Yeah, that was like My favourite is taking part. It's not the winning that counts. It's about taking part. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Sebastian. And what's been the best? Is it building the robots or playing with the robots? Playing with the robots. Playing with the robots. Playing with the robots. They're both as good as each other. This is Richard Stringer for That's TV.